it's pretty challenging to um, talk about um, intelligent uh, process automation, thank you, uh, and uh, digitalization in only five minutes. But the good news is that um, my predecessors, the two speakers before, actually spoke about the trends that we obviously also see. Um, everyone talks about the same digitalization trends and uh, I'm not going to go through this entire thing. I'd like to highlight um, uh, two, two things here. We've seen uh, in our investigations that, um, that um, uh, the individualization and uh, the increasing personalization of uh, products is, is uh, vital. Uh, it's, uh, it's a trend that, um, that you can see in e-commerce um, since many, many years. Um, everyone knows how to use um, Amazon uh, on a, in a private sector and uh, now in the, in the production area we have, a, we have a similar trend. That's obviously very challenging. Um, at the same time, uh, customers want more flexibility, want um, an agile organization, want very fast response with individual uh, requirements. This is obviously um, um, a very tough challenge as uh, we talk about in our case producing valves and you can't just change that within a within matter of, of, uh, of uh, seconds, right, as you can so do with Amazon. This is, this is a trend that we see and, we, and uh, the other trend is, um, is connectivity. Connectivity in the industry, in the Internet of Things is, um, is, a, is a key factor, a key success factor um, to provide um, to provide uh, both our customers as well as ourselves with the smart information that we actually need to drive the business and to uh, satisfy all these um, requirements that I was talking about before. So at the end of the day it comes to information, smart information that we want to produce and that we have to produce um, in order to, to be able to be more flexible and uh, to deliver more personalized, more individualized products in a faster way. Um, how do I get to information? Well, I need to collect data, obviously, and therefore connectivity is the key. Um, connectivity to, um, to our own products, obviously, such as um, yeah. our own products, obviously, or also other products in any, any, any sensor, any actuator, a pump or whatever it is uh, out there in the plant needs to be connected in order to collect the information that is needed. And we have created our own digital business platform um, in order to collect this data and then actually do something with it. Um, this platform is, um, is, a, is a software architecture, very open, very scalable, uh, based on the latest uh, standards, microservices, if, uh, if that helps uh, for you. It is able to connect with uh, systems, ERP systems, manufacturing execution systems, obviously SAP or anything else. It is also able, by the time that it does collect the data, is able to, to be used by uh, third parties such as IBM Watson or any other uh, algorithm and uh, artificial intelligence system that is out there on the market. I'm sure you all read it in the newspaper every day about these fancy things. But before you do all these things, you actually have to collect the data. And I repeat, connectivity is the key. Um, with with uh, this uh, platform, we have now generated certain applications for end users for our different um, customer segments that we work for traditionally. Obviously there is chemicals, but there is also the energy world and food and beverage, um, um, just to name a few of them. Um, in other words, if a food and beverage customer um, comes and looks at this software application, there are, there are um, use cases and, and reports and alarms and, um, and trend graphics that are, are typical in this industry and this customer would be able to, to satisfy at least some of his uh, needs uh, by using these applications. This is all based on the same platform and to give you an example, to give you an example for the chemical industry, um, in order to connect to our, one of our own products, a, a typical Samsung valve, we would use third-party products such as a wireless heart adapter uh, um, and a wireless heart gateway. Uh, the data is then being driven into uh, a Samsung Internet of, um, Industrial Internet of Things gateway into this digital platform and is then capable of producing such a nice uh, dashboard. Um, for those of you that are not able to read it, it shows uh, things like, for instance, set point, valve position, workload, dynamic stress factor, total valve travels, pressure supply, actuator pressure, etc. set point deviation. This is for, for, for an IT guy, it's really no rocket science as long as you have the data. This just simply 
visualizes the data that is in the platform. The key is to connect as, to connect as many um, devices as possible and then be able to do even more intelligent alarming and maybe even prediction on the basis of this platform. Needless to say, we will show examples of that platform, some of these soft software applications on the Achima, and I hope you all join us there. Thank you very much.